Hi guys, it's Sarah from Ocean City Nutrition, and I'm here to give you a quick and hopefully painless overview about methylation and mood disorders. A little bit about myself, I have a background in psychology from Salisbury University and a master's degree in clinical nutrition from Maryland University of Integrative Health. So I love to bridge psychology with biochemistry and nutrition. So in this video, I just wanted to very briefly and simply explain what methylation actually is some common genetic polymorphisms, and how it affects brain biochemistry. So getting started with methylation, what it actually means, it's very simple. It is just enzymes stamping things with a carbon and three hydrogens. And that's the easy part. The complex part is that there are common genetic polymorphisms that affect our ability to do this. The two big ones that most people are, well not most people, but 30 to 40% of people are affected by are the MTHFR polymorphisms. And there are two main single nucleotide polymorphisms that occur on the MTHFR gene. And this is the C677T and the A1298C SNP. And all this means is that you can have one or two defective copies of these genes, making it so your MTHFR enzyme is not activated all the way. And before you freak out, MTHFR is just an enzyme used to stamp folate with a methyl group. Okay, breathe. I know I lost you for a second. I got a little carried away. I'm kind of trying to bring it back down. Okay, so MTHFR, just a little enzyme here that just wants to put carbons and hydrogens on folate so that the body can use it in the folate cycle. Got it? Good. So the problem is if you have one defective copy or two defective copies of these single nucleotide polymorphisms, then you are only able to stamp things with carbons and hydrogens at 60% if your heterozygous have one defective copy or 30% if you're homozygous and have two defective copies. So for example, I am heterozygous for the MTHFR polymorphism C677T. So I can only methylate, stamp my folate with 60% of the carbons and hydrogens that my body wants to. And it's an easy, easy fix. Um, a cheap and easy fix to um, you know, help your body with this boost, but I'm gonna explain first how it affects your biochemistry. So methylfolate is very important because it affects three cycles of your body. And my focus of interest is how it affects the cycle that affects the manufacturing of neurotransmitters, but it is also huge for the detoxification pathway. So there, the three cycles that are kind of like links in a chain, it's the methionine methylation cycle, the folate cycle, and the BH4 cycle. The methionine cycle is responsible for detoxifying and converting um, and getting rid of homocysteine buildup in the body and in the blood. The folate cycle is basically just your body's ability to methylate, metabolize, and process B vitamins. And the BH4 cycle is your body's ability to convert amino acids to neurotransmitters. And the common denominator of these three cycles is the enzyme that sits right in the middle of the links of the chain, and that is the MTHFR. So if you have defective copies of this gene, you're, you're kind of, you know, you're, you're shutting the gate between these cycles. You know, so if say there's there's a fence between the yard of the methionine cycle and the folate cycle and your gate is shut 70 percent then you're only letting some of the good stuff in and the communication back and forth between these chains is inhibited so if you have our heterozygous with the mthfr polymorphism then you are making it so you're shutting the gate a little bit so you're only manufacturing neurotransmitters at about 60%. Because in the BH4 cycle, this is where tyrosine is converted to dopamine and tryptophan is converted to serotonin. And if your 
your gait, your MTHFR is inhibited, then a bunch of body processes are not working optimally. And it's a very, very easy fix. All you need to do is take a methylated folate. So you take met, uh, methyl tetrahydrofolate and you take methyl cobalamin. And it is cheap and easy and it is just, you know, it costs the same as taking cyanocobalamin and folic acid. Um, but you definitely do not want to take folic acid or cyanocobalamin if you have any defective copies of these genes because they are actually toxic if you do not have the enzymes necessary to convert your B vitamins properly. So this is not as simple as not taking a um, synthetic B complex. This also means you need to stay away from um, enriched processed grains like breads and cereals because they have they are enriched with um, added folic acid and you know synthetic vitamins and these are actually toxic to your body and I hate to be the bearer of bad news but you know you're you're gonna have to make some dietary changes as well um, so definitely get a methylated B complex and avoid these processed foods and get some genetic testing done there's a great genetic test called 23andMe and it does not just test the C677T and A1298C, it tests 21 other alleles. So you can see other pathways in your body that are being blocked besides this methylation cycle. And I think, you know, this these genetic um, single nucleotide polymorphisms, they give us so many answers. When I realized that I was only methylating at 60%, I was like, well, that's that's why, you know, I have depression and anxiety or, or that maybe not the reason why, but that's a piece of the puzzle. It's a huge piece of the puzzle because I'm not converting my tyrosine to dopamine and my tryptophan to serotonin. So it's definitely a huge piece to know about yourself. And I encourage everyone to, you know, at least, at least, even if you don't want to pay for the genetic test, get on a methylated B complex because it is literally just as cost effective. There's no risk. Um, it is a water soluble vitamin. There's no harm to your kidneys or liver or anything in taking this. So I highly recommend it. If you have any other questions about this, please email me at oceancitynutrition at gmail.com or um, you can contact me on my website, oceancitynutrition.com or on Facebook. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for